Hi, I'm the Thirteenth Wolf Band. The people over at people over at Mill Creek were nice enough to send over Gamera Volume One. This is the first four Gamera films out of the between the the '60s and 1980. There were eight Gamera films, and these are the first four. You got Gamera, Gamera the Giant Monster. You got Let's see. Gamera versus these names are just Barugon. Gamera versus Gauss and Gamera versus Veras. Now I'm just gonna talk about Gamera the Giant Monster in this one right now. I'm gonna do one for for like each movie. Now Gamera the Giant Monster is the first one, and it's the story of a giant turtle. Um I I like the fact that if you watch this, Gamera is not really a Japanese monster. Uh, so a delegation from Japan goes up to not Alaska, but like the Arctic, and they meet with the Inuit tribe, who explain to them who Gamera is. Uh, he's he's really a piece of myth and folklore from the Inuit tribe, the, the Eskimo tribe that's up there. And an earthquake happens, it opens up a fissure in the in the ice and Gamera's Gamera's uh defrosted, let's say. So in the first movie Gamera is more of a bad guy because he's woken up and he's really, really cranky. So he starts taking things out on people, and they got to figure out how to defeat Gamera. And they they try a little bit of everything. They they do everything they do with Godzilla films. You know, it's like, hey, let's get the army out here. You know, we'll shoot these little bitty bitty. You know, it could be a fifty caliber gun, but to Gamera or Godzilla, you know, it feels like it's a a BB. You know, it's like they just bounce off. Um, it's one of the coolest movies. It's the only only one of the eight films that's in black and white. It's like right after this, when they did the next movie, uh, Gamera vs. Baragon, it was color. But black and white, black and white looks very cool. I love watching old black and white films. I love the look of Gamera. I like those two snarly, snarly looking, you know, incisors coming out. I actually, I mean, I love Godzilla. But I think Gamera's got kind of a more wicked looking uh, look to him. I mean, he's got the armor plating, dude. He's got the shell. You know, he's got those two wicked, you know, I'd say incisors or canines. I'm not sure. Uh, not a dentist. Um, but, yeah. So I'm not going to tell you how they, how they defeat Gamera. But it's, it's one of the coolest movies ever. Um... Just like Godzilla, uh, not just like, but Godzilla has the atomic, you know, the atomic breath. Um, Gamera, he has fire breath. You know, he's the, he's the Gene Simmons of the giant monsters, really. Can't you see? See? Yes. That says Gene Simmons all over it, though. Um, but yeah, I... I just love it, man. I mean, I love the Gamera films. I now have all... Well, I thought I had all the Gamera films because I have this volume and volume 2 and the 90s movies. But it turns out that there's one more that I didn't know I, I was missing. It's from like... Um, it's from like the 2000s. So, but close enough, man. I have 11 Gamera films. And this was just the beginning. Gamera, the giant monster. Dun, dun, dun. You know. How's it look? If you're, you're probably ordered it since it's on Blu-ray. And I just love it. The picture is nice and crisp. Um, there are no flaws with this whatsoever. You know, it's not like it stops the stars or anything. Um, you know, no no digital noise in it whatsoever. It just looks good for the movie it is. And, uh, yeah, 
I, I think it looks really good on on Blu-ray. I didn't see this on DVD, so I can't do a comparative side-by-side. -side. I wish I could, but that's okay. On, on Blu-ray, it looks really good. Um, these are all in the original Japanese uh, language. <laughs> Looking for a word. Well, language. But, um, yeah. So these are all in the original Japanese language. You have to read the movie. I know there's a lot of people like, I don't like subtitles. You know what? They leave the, they leave the subtitles up there long enough for you to get through them. And if you don't get through them, it's a giant monster movie. You kind of get the gist. You know? You could skip over some words like, oh, okay. Uh, nuclear warhead. What was the last word? I think it was army. You know? Kind of. I mean, if you're a slow reader and you can't get through it, then just get the gist. But I, I thought they left the, sub the subtitles up there long enough. And yeah, like I said, it's all in the original Japanese. Uh, it's it's uh, two. The sound is 2.0 Dolby, you know, and it does have a nice sound to it. I just I don't know. I love these giant monster movies. I'm really looking, really really looking forward to doing the reviews for the other ones. These are just so much fun to do. Let's see. The movie is... It's one of the shorter movies. It's 75 minutes. I think the longest out of all of them is Gamera vs. Baragon. Because that's like 100 minutes. And everything else... Seems like when I when I got the two volumes, I remember looking them up and going, oh wow, that like one movie's 100 minutes long and it's like everything else is like just barely under an hour and a half. So, what would I give this? Uh, Gamma or the Giant Monster as a movie? It's getting three and a half... Uh, yeah, three and a half chainsaws out of four. I mean, just as a movie. I mean, the look and everything that falls into it. How, how do they do with the, with the process? I'll give them also three and a half chainsaws out of four. I would like a little bit of extras on these, you know, not much, just a little bit. But other than that, it's a, it's fine. Uh, three and a half chainsaws out of four. Gamera, the giant monster. I am the thirteenth Wolfman. I'm gonna leave the link to Mill Creek down below. And I'm on the prowl.